Hello, everyone. My name is Shaw Ashley, and I'm the director of the North Myrtle Beach Survivor Challenges. This year, we have a little bit of a replacement coming into the mix. We had a wonderful person, unfortunately, had to drop out. So I'm excited to introduce someone new to you. So tell us who you are and what makes you a local celebrity. Yeah, so my name is Ryan Thompson. Um, I'm a lifelong native of Horry County, Myrtle Beach area, born and raised. Um, a little bit about me, I ran for state office last cycle, and I work with a lot of um, activist organizations in the area, so I guess I'm a bit of a local activist. I think celebrity could be a stretch of the word, but I'm excited to be here. Perfect, thank you. So, you know, we have a bunch of different contestants, so tell us why the community should root for you over some of the other people why should they root for you um i think because i'm a native local so i've just grown up here in the area ever since i was born um i'm also a huge fan of survivor in general so i love i've watched the show since season one so i would say i hope i'm going to be a good player i'm not trying to put too much pressure on myself before that because like we always see people that are super fans go in and overthink the game but I definitely have a bit of a strategy going into it. So I think people should support me because I really want to come to play and come to win. Awesome. So if you have not seen our season, that's totally okay. But talking generally about Survivor, what are you most looking forward to when coming out here to play next month? So I watch Survivor every Wednesday night with my mom. It's like our show we watch together. And I always say like, oh my gosh, I think I could do that. And she just laughs at me and says like, you could never be on Survivor. <laughs> so for me, I'm really excited just to like put myself out there in the environment and really try to make it as realistic of an experience as possible. Um, yeah. Awesome. So my next question was, have you ever watched Survivor? So you answered that already. <laughs> um, so, you know, obviously I mentioned earlier, you are coming in as kind of a replacement mm -hmm. um, alternate. So have you taken the past couple of days to make any pregame alliances? If not, do you plan to, or do you want to keep everything authentic and wait till May? So I started friending a couple of the people in the chat. I haven't like slid into anyone's DMs yet to kind of pre-game, but I wanted to at least get a little bit of a feel for the cast. Um, I started watching their interviews. I also watched all of season one already. So I've been in Survivor Boot Camp since I got the call that, hey, I'm going out in May. So um, I feel like I'll probably try to reach out to at least like one or two people, but I'd rather try to keep the game as authentic as possible. Perfect. So... You know, in Survivor, you have Outwit, Outplay, Outlast, but essentially that just means like there's three big games. You have your social gameplay, your strategic gameplay, and your like physical competitive gameplay. So of the three, social, strategic, competitive, what would you consider your like biggest, um, like this is Ryan, social, strategic, or yeah. competitive? I would say strategic and social would be my two areas. I'm very lanky. I'm not very strong. So definitely not the physical challenges for me, but um, I would say I'm good at word puzzles. I really love escape rooms and I feel like Survivor is kind of just like an escape room, but without any walls. Mm. Um, so I think I would try to bring like, I definitely don't want to play my hand too quickly and be like over competitive to where I get booted out early. So I have a bit of a strategy about just you know, laying under the radar, doing, making that social game work better. So try to make a great relationship with everyone in my tribe, try to talk to the other tribes. But I think really socially, I'm a very big people person. I love to make others laugh. So I think being a team spirited person would help me in my game. Awesome. I like that. So you've had a chance to look at the cast, see their job titles, get a good feel for them. So looking at our cast this season, do you notice any divides already or people who might be grouped together from maybe some pre-existing relationships? Um, I feel like that could be true with some of the people just looking at different positions, like um, a lot of them that work in education or something could try to pull together because they already know each other from schools. But it seems like a really cool and diverse cast of people that represent our area well. So I don't think I see any clear divides, although like maybe just age wise, because I feel like I'm probably one of the younger ones. So I'll have to kind of earn my respect out there. 
Absolutely. So um, another question when you think about that is we have three contestants that played the real game. They were on the show. Do you see yourself aligning with any of them or are you like anti tribe captain kind of thing? I feel like at first when we're still in tribe or like still in as tribes, I'll try to get on a good relationship with my tribe captain because I'm still trying to learn how to make fire myself. So like getting some of those survival tips, but definitely once we were to hit merge, I would want to make sure we get all the survivor people out because they've already done this and got their turn and know what to do. So I think using our captains to get to merge would be my strategy. And then once we're at merge, we need to kind of us versus them. Okay. Interesting. So obviously, and I'm, I'm really shouldn't ask this question, but I mean, you've had like a couple of days to really <laughs> get in the groove of things, but you touched on it a little bit. So what have you done so far to prepare for the game? And after this call and down the road, you know, we have like a month till the yeah. competition. What do you plan to do? So I already watched season one of um of the Survivor, so I kind of got a feel for how things are going to be there. Um, next up, I'm going to watch the seasons with the contestants that we have on, so kind of see their gameplay, see how they were um, when they were on their seasons, and then I'm going to hit a gym because I am out of shape right now, and so I need to kind of get back into the gym, get my physical fitness era back because it's a survival game and we're going to be outside doing some tough competition so I want to make sure that I'm pulling my own weight absolutely so you know we're going to kind of wrap it up here so again you're coming in new do you have anything else you want to say to the public um you know about donations or just in general that might be beneficial uh to the public or our fellow uh contestants um, just, I know I'm getting kind of a late start in this, but I'm so excited to be here. I'm a huge Survivor nerd. I love Big Brother as well. Basically all the CBS Survivor show or CBS competition shows I'm a huge fan of. So I'm really excited just to get to play the game, to meet the cast. And for anyone out there that's watching, if you can spare a dollar, please donate it to me because I have not had a chance to fundraise like my opponents have. So I could kind of use an advantage to start off the game for starting late. So thank you all for having me and I'm excited to be here. Perfect. Well, thank you again for agreeing to compete and we will see you in May. <laughs> awesome. Thank you.